Okay, let's try this. I'm in some kind of co-working area, so our, um, there's some background music, which might mean that Twitch will decide that this is copyrighted and then they'll take it down afterwards. I have no idea. But we will see. <coughs> so I'm doing some um, drawing for a science popularization book with lots of little um, particles and um, electrons and photons and things like this trying to make physics more appealing. So this is going to be a very, very chill stream, not, not very fast paced, so you may want to do your own thing at the same time or you'll be extremely bored. <coughs> For instance, drawing straight lines with a ruler. Not the most fascinating thing to watch. <coughs> so the current chapter is about a guy called Gustav Dalien who got the um, Physics Nobel Prize in 1912 for inventing some things related to uh, lighthouses and buoys. So this whole chapter is about him and how his stuff works. to write some text. And to figure out how many panels I need on this line, on this row.
pens never seem to listen to me. They always run out of ink at weird moments and then flow again. Never quite understand how these work. I like pen, I like uh, paintbrushes more, even though they're more difficult to master. But I feel like I can understand their physics better. <coughs> All this um, capillarity thing is beyond my understanding. myself a bit on what I'm writing to make sure I'm not making any mistakes. So I shall be I shall be looking stuff up on the internet. <coughs> I can stream my looking stuff up as well. Very interesting. So this is about this guy, Dalian, who um, <coughs> got this Nobel Prize in 1912. Um, and he was experimenting with making um, lighting apparatus for lighthouses and buoys and these things. And he was using a very dangerous gas, um, which he managed to control pretty well, but he still had an accident at one point, which um, made him go completely blind. And so this is the end of this chapter, and uh, I'm going to conclude on a bit of a <coughs> note on his personal life, um, that he became blind, and uh, what followed blinded in an acetylene explosion during a test of maximum pressure for the accumulators. Well, he got the Nobel Prize the same year, so um, maybe a bit of a consolation. Although I don't, I don't think I would ever accept to go blind in exchange for <laughs> a Nobel Prize. <laughs> Doesn't sound like a great deal. This is what he looks like. Um, and then after he got blinded, is there? Ah, yes. <coughs> That's him after the accident. Kind of looks cool. His cyberpunk character um, <laughs> at the start of the 20th century.
So I think I, I'll need to draw his face with the, the glasses, the sunglasses afterwards. Can I use an apostrophe S after gas? Like the gas is pressure. Is that proper English? Gas apostrophe S. Hmm. That might not be correct. Mm -hmm. Gases is the cruel. Um, but I want the possessive S. Oh well, <coughs> I'll write it like this and I might need to fix it later. Oh, I'm smudging my ink all over the paper. Whatever. Uh, the gas is max. Do I want to say max? Gas is. I'll just say the gas is pressure to erase that later. Um, pressure. And then the next panel will be a big explosion, I think. Let's see, how large should the big explosion be? <coughs> I think on the same row I'm going to have the explosion and then the face he had afterwards with the sunglasses. So let's do... <coughs> the music playing in the background, I have no idea what the name is but I've heard this a lot of time before. I'm sure it's extremely popular, which means that Twitch will likely say immediately that this is copyright infringement and uh, strike this down somehow. Um, <coughs> let's see, eight centimeters, let's see, eight and a half. As you can see, this is extremely chill. Not a whole lot of action or production value, so hope you're doing something else in the meantime. Just let this make make this um, co-working, virtual co-working space. <coughs> I've heard that there's, um, well, I've, it's more than heard, I saw, <coughs> even though I didn't really try to subscribe. I saw there was a service to uh, provide you with a uh, some virtual working buddy to provide a minimal amount of peer pressure that you have an appointment so you have to go there <coughs> even though it's a virtual appointment but you're supposed to be there and uh, hang out. I don't know if it's on video. Um, I forgot what it's called. I think I signed up for an account, but then I didn't really do anything. <coughs> the whole service is supposed to help you fight procrastination, and I was procrastinating using the service. Okay, let's see. There's this is trick I uh, learned learned only recently, which is silly. Like, hello, I'm 
Manu, I'm uh, more than 40 years old and I've only learned that you should, if you have a ruler, this is the uh, correct um, direction. Or, uh, yeah, you can see the figures. And then if you don't want to smudge things all around, you have to turn it the other way so that the um, uh, the edge of the ruler is not in contact with the paper. At least that's the best trick I know so far. <coughs> um, I think I may have learned that earlier and then just forgot about it. doesn't prevent me from putting ink onto the edge of the ruler, but at least it doesn't get transferred onto the paper. It doesn't make a big mess. Um, you know what? I think I might not need the whole height here. Because even for the other panels, um, maybe I'll use a little bit more height for the panel, um, for the row below. Let's try that. Like this. <coughs> I do have some some amount of uh, storyboarding before this phase. Sometimes just in my head, but I do have a um, very fuzzy plan. Not completely doing this blindly, but um, the plan is not very precise. interesting part, especially for the watching me do it part <coughs> of drawing comics. It's not even sketching anything or making characters, it's just drawing straight lines. I might do some um, Twitter and or Google related um, drawings later today. I have so many Twitter things to do, draw about. <coughs> but um, I also have this project that I really need to make progress on. Okay, now let's do a an explosion scene. So I think I'll just do it very cartoonish with a, a big splash and uh, and a boom somewhere. <coughs> um, maybe some objects flying as well. I don't know. Let's see. This is going to be the center of the explosion. And I need to have some radiating um, explosion business. Um, and then, boom. What's a more, what's a m less boring version of boom? Let's see. Um, oh no, ma. Maybe I should say kaboom instead. Kaboom, that's one. And bomb. <coughs> yeah, maybe 
club room is more interesting. Um, wow, well, there's a Wikipedia page for <laughs> the list of monotopia. I like it. Um, animals and bird names. Devices. Beep. Fizz. Kaboom. Okay, maybe kaboom is good. Splash. Tick, tick, tick. Tock, tock. Tick, tock. Tick. Alright, I'll do kaboom. Let's do kaboom. And maybe in, um, in a way where the letters are becoming larger as we go. So the K would be smaller than the M, <coughs> the last M. And uh, maybe if it goes beyond the um, limits of the panel, that would be a bit more uh, jarring in a good way. So let's do K-A. going to bleed onto the other panels, but I think that is fine, and maybe even good to convey the force of the explosion. <coughs> okay, let's try that. And then, let's trace those letters. M doesn't look very symmetrical, but <coughs> um, now the question is, um, uh, am I going to be lazy and leave it this way or fill this with ink so that the letters are um, all black so I can get a better preview of what this will look like? No, I'm going to make a big mess, so I will leave it this way. <coughs> Um, but, well, let's try to make the explosion part.
I should zoom in, zoom in a little bit. Let's see how does this work. One thing that I'm trying to learn to do well is, um, or not to do too badly, is the, the show don't tell part. Especially with this type of uh, this type of cartoons where I'm explaining things with texts, but also reinforcing with drawings. Sometimes it's easy to just. Um, duplicate things by saying them and showing them um, but really for those and I think in for things in general the less text there is the better um, <coughs> obviously there's a big block of text here but um, I'm still trying to reduce that and especially for something that is supposed to be popularization of uh, scientific things, if there's too much text, it's just um, not very appealing. <coughs> um, okay, so if I if I want to be able to just use the paint bucket tool when I color this, I would need to close these lines so that um, it's a closed shape. Um, but I kind of like to keep it open. I think it's just looks better that way. So I will leave them open. Maybe I'll make this some of this also bleed outside of the the panel. Um do I even need panel um borders? Probably not. And then if I make objects fly away from the explosion, they can also come and bleed into the neighboring panels just a little bit. <coughs> okay, what are objects that would be flying away um, when some big explosion happens in a scientific experiment? Um, well, you're always told to wear gloves and glasses, right? So maybe I'll try to draw some kind of protection, protection glasses, which would basically look like normal glasses, but all transparent in the frame. <coughs> Um, this is also 1912, so I don't want to draw something that looks modern. Did they even have those protection goggles? Safety glasses is the proper name. Yeah, I'm sure they did. It's not that long ago. Um, okay, let's draw something like this. And then let it bleed into the panel next door. Mm. 
Or maybe he got blinded because he did not wear those. No, I doubt it. It's probably a big enough explosion that even with glasses he would get blinded. But maybe he, he, if he hadn't worn those he would have uh, died. Who knows? There is actually surprisingly little um, literature or documentation about this guy. I mean, there's stuff about his company um, and what he invented, but not much about the guy himself. Was he the um, was he the careless type? Was he very uh, was he taking a lot of precautions? <coughs> Who knows? Oh, one thing I know is that uh, that's part of the chapter earlier, is that he, um, how old was he? Wait, do I, do I still have this here? When he was, uh, 13, I think, he invented some machine that would, um, prepare his coffee automatically after the, his, uh, alarm. What do you even call it? Like some call it an alarm clock at that time. Surely it wasn't powered by electricity. But he had some um, ingenious device that would um, use some sandpaper to scratch a match and uh, light the fire under the coffee pot. But then I was wondering why a 13-year-old boy would need to drink coffee every morning. Sounds a bit strange. <coughs> um, and I, I don't think this story is uh, apocryphal. This seems to be quite well documented. Um, he was a pretty, pretty good inventor overall. So. so that's the type of boy he was. But then as a, as a grown-up man, I don't know. So what else would be flying away <coughs> um, from an explosion? Uh, uh, uh. This is funny. I have, the, I have the streaming software on one side, and I have the actual preview of the live stream on the other side. So I can see myself a few seconds ago. <coughs> it's kind of weird. Um, okay, what else would be flying? Um, something, maybe something mildly funny. Like a piece of underwear. Something like this. Now if I draw, I think I need to draw briefs because those would be more recognizable as underwear. Otherwise you'd think it might be a um, swimming suit or short pants. Um, okay, briefs. Well, they would need to be torn, right? Otherwise there should be a guy inside the briefs. So maybe torn. Does this even look like briefs? <coughs> um, doesn't really look like briefs to me, but I think once once I add the ink and uh, do the coloring, I hope I can make them those more recognizable. Okay, what else is um, part of a standard lab apparatus set? Um, <coughs> a 
if he was working with gases, I would want to include something like a pipette or a beaker. So, but I don't think something like a gas pump would be very recognizable. <coughs> or maybe something that looks like a like a, an oxygen bottle, like, even though it's not oxygen, but something like this. I don't think you call this a bottle. I'm testing my English vocabulary now. What do you call this? An oxygen um, can? An oxygen container? What is the name of those? Hmm? Yeah, I think this is close enough. <coughs> I don't know what these are called when you do some uh, diving stuff that you have on your back. And this also needs to be not too modern looking. This is a long time ago. Um, yeah, and then some kind of pressure thing on top that would make it more recognizable. Pressure measurement thing. Yeah, maybe some Zooming in a bit more. Okay. <coughs> and now I get to watch my zooming in <laughs> a few seconds later. This is fun. Alright. Um, okay, so the pressure thing looks like this. Maybe I'll draw some needles. Yeah. Okay, <coughs> let's see if I can add some ink to this. to look up what this looks like. Waves. And I want a man's brief. <laughs> Welcome to this stream where, where we look at man's brief. Just for documentation purposes. Okay, so there's like uh, something like a scene this way. Do I need to tell Twitch that this is uh, this needs to be PG rated? Um, okay. This. All right. And back to my oh. Oxygen cylinder, maybe that's the proper name. A cylinder. Gosh, I'm being distracted. I'm not drawing circular circles. Drawing very badly drawn circles. But it's alright, there's been an explosion. It's uh the shape has been affected, right? That's what we'll say. The metal is melted and uh, changes its form. Its form. Now 
Now the objects are flying away from the explosion, so we'll need some movement lines. Still smudge, smudging some ink around. Um, okay, I think this is good for this panel. Let's do a bit of er erasing. physical, tiresome part of drawing. <coughs> this might be the only exercise I get today. <laughs> and it's not much of an exercise, which tells me about how sedentary my life is. And I don't even feel bad about it. Whiskey, cigar, and no sport. Um okay, there's some slight smudges that I'll have to fix in post, as people say. Um or I could use some whiteouts, but I think I'll just do that on the computer later on. Okay, now we need to draw a blinded Gustav Dalian. And um, I need to see what I made him look like when he was not blind. I don't think I have that handy. Mm. Where would I have? <coughs> um, oh, actually, I have a mirror, although it's maybe not the best one, but let's use that. I don't think I'm doing this right. I'm sure there's some better way of zooming in and out. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, so we need a Mr. Dalian with goggles. And, oh, and I need to write also that he got blinded. This might not be self-evident. Um, how do I phrase this? blinded, something, something. Mm -hmm. Dalian survived but was blinded. Or survived but lost his sight. I will remove this one though. This word that I didn't mean to write. Um, Dalian was, well, I already said Dalian here, so I could say he, he survived but was blinded. Um, okay, is two lines enough to write this? Probably. He 
Pokemon pen. Be kind to me and deliver some ink when I need it. So that one. But lost his sight. Was blinded. Let's say was blinded. Okay, now I think I want to have another frame here. Um, so maybe it could be rounded, rounded corners. <laughs> if Apple doesn't have the patent on this. Uh, let's say rounded at the top, but square at the bottom. Actually, let me draw the frame first. Do you write the script ahead of time, or do you usually figure it out as you're drawing the panels? Um, good question. Yeah, usually I have some amount of uh, storyboarding. It's not very evolved. Um, like, I think at some point I had already made like the, the first part of a page, and then I was trying to figure out the bottom part or actually this is this page right next to here um, I have some kind of a, some amount of planning maybe not as much as I should um, but yeah I do I do figure things out not everything but um, let's see this is what I did for this page which really isn't much because I, I think I I oh Alright, I think this was this was the list of things that I wanted to have on this page. So uh, I said sum up three things, which is not exactly what I did here, but I summed up um, I summed up the thought process that led to the previous page. Um, so that's what I meant to do here, and then uh, what was that? Very oh very reliable I can't even read myself what did I, what did I write here very reliable alright what I meant here was that he um, the things that he invented um, remained in use for a long time so this is what this is about and then accident dangerous blind and then this will be the last row, wife, Aga, oven. So basically the story is that he, um, uh, maybe he wasn't much of a feminist originally, <laughs> so he was married, but probably his wife took care of everything at home, which was, I mean, I don't wanna criticize him, that probably was the norm back then. Um, but because he was blinded and he had to stay at home for a while, he realized that um, being in his, his wife's shoes was hard work <laughs> and that she had to cook for him specifically and do a bunch of things around the house. So he realized that it was not easy and then his uh, last invention, maybe not last, but one of his other inventions after being blinded was that he invented this um, badass oven <laughs> that some people still use nowadays. 
uh, and it was called the Aga Oven because that was the name of his company, Aga, which probably stands for um, something gas accumulator. It was originally made for for these um, devices to be used on the on lighthouses. Um, so yeah, so this was the very broad list of things that I wanted to add on this page and then um, I kind of had something um, that would say what I need to draw here but it's really not very detailed so yeah long story short I do figure things out a lot as I go um, it also depends on which page I am on inside a given chapter because I, I don't want to end a chapter on um, at a half halfway through a page so for the last page I need to make sure that um, things actually end um, when the page ends Okay, so Mr. Dalian with goggles. Mm -hmm. He also has less of an impressive mustache. But I, I drew him with this uh, curly mustache. Maybe that was when he was younger. Let me see. What did he look like younger? Yeah, he had a, m he had more of a mustache younger. So I think I'll keep that, even in this drawing. They all th these Nobel Physics Prize winners. They they don't look particularly different from one another. They all have. Uh, they are. All mildly serious looking. Okay, um, someone tried to call me. Maybe I can tell them that I'm joining on Twitch. Is my Twitch URL? Um, I'm driving right now. Okay, then I think I'm going to mute myself. I don't know if this is anything urgent. Mm, how should I do this? Alright, I'm going to mute myself here.
my apologies. Still need to see if it's anything um, urgent, but I guess we'll see. <coughs> um, what was I doing? I was looking at Mr. Davian with goggles and with a longer mustache than on this photo. So, like this. That is one issue I have is I, I draw all head shapes a bit too similar, too round. They're all oval shaped. And then well for these, I think I don't want it to be too cartoonish. So it should be at least a little bit realistic. But even for m more um, less realistic cartoons, I tend to not make enough of a use of other shapes. Like people could have um, triangular head shapes, which would make them look a bit um, less refined, like smaller head, bigger jaw, or the opposite. Um, have a big head and uh, and a smaller jaw. I can't. I can't show stuff with my hands. Anyway, <coughs> maybe s maybe uh, squares or rectangles or trapezes or triangles. We should explore things more. I think that's a problem many people who draw cartoonish faces have that they at least from what I've seen, uh, and except for true geniuses, they all tend to draw people who all look the same. And this is especially difficult to, when you ha you're reading a um, graphic novel or a manga or comic book, and if everyone looks the same, you can't tell who is who. That's really um, confusing. Okay, so these goggles have side protection. This looks like the goggles that a um, a pilot would wear. All right, and then he still has his big mustache. Well, not really big, but um, wide and curly. <coughs> yeah, it makes him look more different from the other Nobel Prize winners. And they all, for some reason, the physics Nobel Prize winners, they all seem to have um, either a beard or a mustache. I don't know if it's like scientists at that time or if it was a widespread social thing that most people had facial hair. Um, okay. I think I want some reflections on the glasses too. And then his hair would look maybe a bit like this. Well, to be fair, this this particular photo was likely um, not taken right after he had his accident. So I can probably make him look a bit younger. Oh, he also has hadn't noticed this before. His chin has a, I don't know what that feature is called, but when you have a tiny dip in the middle of the of the chin, although his isn't very pronounced. Um, but I could have made this a recognizable feature. Although it's maybe too late now because this one doesn't really have that, so. <coughs> Never mind. Um, I think I want to make him smile 
even though he just got blinded and nearly died. But um, he re remained quite productive afterwards. And that was really the remainder of his life, most of his life, I think. So, um, I don't want to make him smile here. Yeah, I think so. It's like, hey, that didn't hurt me. I'm badass. Um, okay. And then maybe I'll make him wear the same thing as he had before. Just a funky looking collar. It's probably has a name. <coughs> Um, actually I may not even have much room to draw that. Okay, that person doesn't seem to be reacting, so let me try again. I think I can work around the limitations I have. Because mm. I asked if it was urgent and then he didn't reply, so <laughs> maybe that's not a good sign. didn't work either. So I think that's enough um, enough pencil. Where's my pen? There we go. At one point I, I tried to practice drawing without doing a, um, a pencil uh, draft first. I think it's a good exercise but the result was horrible. <laughs> so I need a lot more practice. But maybe it's a good thing, well, um, if only just for for general drawing practice, I think it's a good thing. But it's also, I think it's maybe good for a certain type of drawing, which needs to be more spontaneous. I, I, a few years ago, I, I bought a book by this famous illustrator called Quentin Blake. He's most well known for illustrating some of, um, well all I think, of Roald Dahl's books. And in, in his book he was trying to teach his way of doing things which is extremely spontaneous. No, no pencil in any way. He just um, goes ahead and if it's no if it's not good enough you'll just throw it away and start over which is very different from my way of doing things but it's really spontaneous so I feel like I want to give this more of a try later um okay what do these um 
reflection look like? I guess it don't need to be realistic. <coughs> and mustache. Maybe I don't want to have him smile with his mouth open though. Maybe just like this. He may have survived this, but he's nearly okay. He's not completely uh, delirious either. Color. Do I even need a uh, border between the text and the drawing? I guess there's no space for that, is there? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, I'll just draw one. That'll be less of a color, but that's fine. my headphones are in the way. Sorry about this. Maybe I should zoom in again. I always get too impatient and try to erase the pencil for something that isn't, um, that has been inked but isn't quite dry yet. So I always end up making a mess. Um, so I'm not going to erase this one, but maybe the pencil for this one. Um, well, I'm going to be patient and do that later. Okay, next row. So the next row, I want to draw that um, interesting looking oven. And then explain um, explain what it is. Maybe also give a modern take on it because I 
I actually, this is how much I think about these beforehand. I may not have very elaborate storyboards, but I do try to research <laughs> the, the topic. So I looked at this special oven that he designed, invented, and then I saw a YouTube video that was a review of that oven. <laughs> Um, and apparently it's still being made. Uh, so this guy was Swedish, but these ovens um, are now produced in the UK. And they're very specialized thing, not really for everyone. But um, there was a yeah, there was a video review um, by a couple who had bought this oven secondhand, I think. And uh, it was a very positive review. So I think I'm going to just mention that it's... Um, I think on the one hand it's uh, um, cookers, uh, a cook's dream as an oven, but maybe a... Um, uh, for anyone who is... Um, uh, cautious about the environment it's probably a nightmare is it basically never turns off you're supposed to leave it on all the time and it's, it's like uh, I don't know if it's cast iron or but it's really uh, heavy pieces of metal so it's well insulated but still it's uh, burning gas 24-7. So, not great. But great for cooking. Um, okay, so I think I will... Um, let's see. How am I going to divide this? I do want a large panel showing the oven itself. Which maybe I should actually look up. I got oven. Um, yeah, this is what it looks like. Yeah, I think this is actually uh, an image from that review that I watched. This one. Um, Trying to find a photo that would be good to use as a basis. These are enormous things. Okay, I think this is not bad. This is actually being sold on Amazon. Uh, oh, it's a miniature. <laughs> I was puzzled at the price. It's a miniature oven. Interesting. Um, it looks kind of realistic, though. So I could, um, I could draw it from that. Mm, maybe not. Mm -hmm. Anything better? Also, should I spend the time explaining the features of this oven? Because it's like there's um, multiple compartments. And then depending on the temperature that you want, this is a simmering oven, a warming oven. Um, this is maybe where the furnace is. No, roasting oven. Oops. Um. So yeah, maybe that would be an interesting tidbit. So it would have not just the oven, but also a legend. Oh, it's called an Aga Range Cooker. Okay. Um. I do want a slightly more 
isometric looking, not just from the front. Okay, where was that miniature photo? I think that's the best one I've seen so far. Even though it's a miniature. Where was it? Is it this one? Yeah. Okay. So, um, let's see, I think I want to explain something about the oven first, and then the oven itself, and then a conclusion. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I want the oven pretty large and front and center. Okay, so the whole width is 23 centimeters. Let's do um, 6 here. That's for the right panel. Yeah, I have no idea if the text I'm going to write would even fit in here, so I'll probably have to play it by ear and adapt the text to the space too. Yeah, this is definitely way less planning than might be advised. I don't even know how other people really do this. I think it depends on the style. Some people are just, um, what is that expression? Shooting from the hip. Um, which I may be using completely incorrectly, but that's the way I understand it. Um, and some other people m may be planning a lot more. I do have a uh, a special little widget to help me draw these horizontal lines. I haven't figured out how I can use it to draw the right spacing for this particular comic book. I need to learn that. That would actually save me a bunch of time. Um, let's see. So this is what it looks like. And I I I half broke it at one point and had to uh glue it together. Um it's also kind of dirty. But it's supposed to be really good at um doing this, which I'm doing by hand now. So I think, for instance, um, I think these holes are probably, I don't even know how far they are, how far apart. Let's try. Um, yeah, I don't think it would match, but then you're supposed to use this, uh, circular thing and uh, 
use the right angle so that they're exactly the right um, the right spacing but yeah I couldn't be bothered to <laughs> understand how that works so I'll just do it manually for now but I, I didn't to invest a tiny bit of time in using this tool and it saved me a lot of time in the long term long run might try to call that person again at some point. They said they were driving, so they couldn't type, but then they didn't answer the call, so I well, can't do much more for now. I have no idea where they are. Where they are. Alright, drawing lines, okay, so, um, oven, front and center will be here, and then I always end these chapters with, um, that is another story, that's the, always the last line, which is a bit boring, but at least it gives people an anchor of what to expect, and to know that the chapter is o over. So that's the end of the last chapter. That's another story. Um, so I think I'll describe the oven here, then draw it here, and then here I will say that it's uh, a cook's dream, but an environmentalist's nightmare, and say that it's another story. So, how much space do I need to write all that? Um, do I want to make this symmetrical? Maybe it doesn't matter that much. Let's see. Mm. Let's say five and a half. Five and a half. People are very shy. Is it, is it this stream that people don't want to chat? What are people up to? Do you like to lurk? You prefer to just watch things and uh, stay silent. Come and say hi if you uh, if you're not too shy. As you can see, this is the probably the most easygoing stream that you've ever seen. Not much going on. That's exciting. Um, Alright, and more lines drawing. Let's see. Should I try to figure this out now? Height. How does this work? 10. Is this even labeled in millimeters or is it some nonsensical units like inches or um, gosh whatever is below the one inch is just completely ridiculous how they label stuff in the US like if you I once bought a um, um, set of drill bits and the way the length are written is just it's just stupid <laughs> at least to me it feels really stupid um like i guess in europe it would be i don't know uh one millimeter two millimeters three millimeters maybe at most you might have 3.5 millimeters but then here it's like uh 5 18 or 7 8 or 1732 30 seconds. I don't even know how to say it properly. But it's just um 
That's just silly to me. Okay, so if I put this on six, is this going to work? Maybe. Let's try. So these lines are supposed to be um, six millimeters apart. Let's see if this would be what I need. So I'm going to use this one as a basis. And then, okay, so this is on six. Um, what if I put this here? All right, I'm going to try. I might completely mess it up, but um, why? Okay, I don't even really get this metric. Um, okay. I don't know if this is the right, but let's try. Is this right? Okay, it's not the same already, so I'm doing things wrong. Mm. I don't think this is the right way. Pretty sure there was a user manual with this in, in initially. You think I could just read the user manual? I I could I could find it online as well, but um, what would be the fun in that? Okay, so there is a. Can't really see much. Can you? Mm, okay, a little bit better. So there's numbers here, one of them is 6, so I think if I adjust this wheel on 6, I could be able to get 6 millimeters from some of these holes, but <laughs> um, maybe those? Let's try again. So if I place this here, try and make sure it's parallel. Okay, now if I use this line, oops, slipped. Um, let's try to use this line here. Oops, you can't really see that, can you? Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was one. Let's keep going and see if it's the right length. Okay, I think this might be the right length. It's not very straight but it is approximately six. Um, yeah, it's okay. I, I need to practice more. So I'll keep doing it by hand for now. Six, 12, 18. Welcome to this straight line drawing stream. Um, okay. Yeah, the initial version was almost right. Not very precise, but that's just because I'm not using the tool properly. Um, did I mess up?
I could also just have templates with these lines pre-drawn that I would place behind this sheet of paper. But then I would need some kind of a, a light, light table. I do have a sheet of, uh, what do you call this, poly, um, polyethylene that I could use as a support, but then I would need to shine some light from the back of the paper. Okay, I have my lines. Um, I want to draw that oven in the center now. So I'm going to use this as a example, but I would like to draw it from a slightly different angle. So actually let me use a ruler for that. And okay. Yeah, there's there's um there's an oven part, but there's also a stove part on the top. So it's really a cook's dream. But it's really an environmentalist's nightmare. this way. Uh -huh. As uh, you might know, there's this uh, Twitter um, drama going on. Um, so there's always some stuff, communications between people. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, so long story short, this uh, Mr. Elon Musk, who is a famous rich person and owner of Tesla, uh, has just purchased Twitter, which you might have seen in the news. And then there's just a lot of movement in the company. And uh, who knows, I might, I might be... Uh, I might be making drawings full time starting next week. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Depends on what um, Mr. Musk and his team think of. Um, well, think of my work as an engineer first, but also if whether they dislike the fact that I'm drawing cartoons about the company enough to um, get me fired. I don't know. Who knows? I'm very flippant about this. We'll see what happens. Worst case, I'll just be uh, taking a break and drawing more. Um, I don't really want need to show the stoves in big detail. So I think I'll I'm trying to pick the right perspective and the right angle. And I'm terrible at perspective. I always get it wrong. But at least I need to make it as believable as possible. Okay, this needs to be parallel to this. Uh, 
Um, okay, what does it look like again? So, that's the front. Till here. What is this thing? Heavy, heavy duty oven. Okay, and then there's something that goes back up here against the wall, I guess. Am I even gonna have enough space for my legends? Mm, should be okay. Um, oh, and so these two are stoves. I think one of them is hotter than the other. I forgot which. And this is a, uh, this is also some, it's really just a keep warm thing, plaque. It's not really a cooking, um, it doesn't really help you cook the food, but. I think it keeps it warm. So stove. Mm, stoves with uh, with lids, because since this always this is always on, I'm trying to insulate. Insulate them a bit and not waste too much energy. But again, this is really an environmentalist's nightmare. Is this the proper name? An environmentalist? A climate conscious? Um, what would I call? Um, and person who is concerned with or advocates the protection of the environment. Yeah, I think that's good. Environmentalist. Alright, I'll use that. Okay, and then there's um, several compartments. I think I'm drawing it a little bit too tall in comparison to its um, to its width. Also, I think I'm having some parallel issues here. Um, hmm, actually, maybe not. I told you I was terrible with perspective, but this looks. About right. Yeah. Um, okay, so yeah, I think it is a bit too tall. So this way. This 
this the bottom this is halfway okay I think this is good enough for as a basis the limits of the are here okay I yeah I don't really quite I wouldn't have a one of those actual ovens next to me to understand exactly what is what maybe I'll look for a better photo now or a more detailed to understand how it works Oh, there's also smaller versions. I guess I want the largest one. Okay, this one might be the most realistic, or the most helpful to make a realistic drawing. Sorry for the distraction. Um, oh, yeah, this is the same review I was mentioning. Okay, so this is more detailed. Oh, and there's an, there's an AGA logo. Nice. Okay, so there doesn't seem to be an actual container at the top here. But there's an Aga logo that I'm going to reproduce. <coughs> I don't quite understand how these doors open. This design is a bit strange. Okay, so the hinges are on the outside. Alright. So they're something like this, really. It's a slightly weird but cool looking vintage design. Very, very distinctive at least. Okay, let's try to put some ink on this now. It also has a uh, an exhaust pipe. Maybe I should draw that too. <coughs> the exhaust pipe contributes to making this whole thing look like a huge monster of an oven really. Okay, so
Perspective, perspective. I can never figure you out. Okay, there's an Aga logo here. Let's make it small, but still legible. Glad to see you back streaming on Twitch, man, and thanks for showing us the inside of a new Nerdland chapter. You're welcome. <coughs> um, yeah, I need to I need to figure out the streaming part better, because um, I have no idea how to make these more appealing or attractive or less boring. But if anything, it's it will just be me, myself, and I just drawing, chilling, and uh, getting some stuff done. Doesn't matter if anyone's watching, really. Um, whatever happens during the stream, at least when it's over, I have made some progress. So it's really a way for overcoming my own procrastination. <coughs> uh, mm -hmm. Alright, so let's see. I'm going to look at a legend for this. Mm-hmm. <coughs> 
Sorry, I got distracted again. Okay, there is. I think there was a. There was a legend somewhere showing what, what um. Con uh, compartment was for what? Oh, there we go. Okay, warming plate. Okay, this is great. This is what I need. What? Swipe right for the next idea. I don't want the next idea at all. Leave me alone. I just need this image. Come on. Can I just open this image? Yes. Alright. Oh, it's Pinterest. Pinterest is always the most annoying website. How dare it not let me steal its picture directly. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, warming plate. Simmering oven, warming oven. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm going to place those. <coughs> so this is a. Uh, is it going to fit on the door itself? <coughs> I guess I could try. Although I did leave some space around the oven but I could always use some extra space for more text the question is if I write stuff on here is it going to be too small for reading so this would read roasting oven and then the temperature <coughs> Yeah, this might get a bit too small. Right. I'll write it outside. So roasting. <coughs> I think I'll just call it roasting. I don't need to write oven. Obviously this is an oven. Well I, I'm gonna say it's an oven anyway. So four hundred and fifty degrees Celsius obviously roasting um baking this is baking nice Three hundred and fifty degrees. <coughs> um, simmering plate. Simmering oven. Two hundred and fifty degrees. <coughs> uh, warming. Hundred and fifty degrees. <coughs> um, this isn't labeled, but I assume this is the furnace. This is where you put whatever. Um, hmm, actually, is there a, a gas container in here? I think I'll leave this blank for now. Um, warming plate. Okay, maybe now I need to write plate, or do I? Boiling plate, warming plate, simmering plate. Um, let's say I'm going to write warming plate, although I'm going to make a mess now because there's ink everywhere. 
So I'm gonna start by other places first. Um, Okay, do I want to be snarky <coughs> or cynical about his uh, belatedly becoming helpful to his wife? Or do I not want to be snarky? <coughs> I mean, to be fair to the guy, it was probably way more than other men were doing at that time. So maybe I don't want to be too snarky. How should I phrase this? I guess I could also be um, going against the rules of chronology and writing the last panel first. Mm. Yeah, I think that might be easier. <coughs> so I think I'll say that he was um, he was realizing that um, his wife's life wasn't easy and he was trying to help out and he did this um, invention because he had to stay at home. Um, hopefully I'll be able to write all this in this space. And here I can say that this is a, um, this oven is the, the cook's dream and the envi environmentalists nightmare. Should I say that it's always on earlier? Uh, let's say Stove. This gigantic, always on. <laughs> Come on, pen. Be kind to me. Am I out of ink or? No, I'm not out of ink. Plenty of ink in here. So the pen is just being temperamental. Come on, Mr. Pen. What are you doing? Okay, this is uh, this gigantic, always on oven, and stove. Maybe I should also say that it's still being sold. Oven and stove. Um, I guess we're exactly a hundred years after the 1912 uh, Nobel Prize. So I could say was still being produced a hundred years later. Gigantic always on oven and stove was still being produced 
a century later. Century later. Am I gonna run out of space? Maybe. Um, it is. A cook's dream. Not running out of space. I even have space to um, add some margin between the paragraphs. But that's another. Oops. to go, duty calls, catch you on the next one, enjoy the rest of the stream everyone, ciao, thanks for dropping by, thank you for watching this very uneventful <laughs> stream, <laughs> with mostly straight line drawing action, um, alright, I still need to write the last panel here, <coughs> Although I'm, uh, yeah, happy that there isn't as much text as in the previous page. It's at least slightly better. This, um, this molecule took a while. Lots of little, little circles. Um. Okay, um. How do I phrase this? What is even correct to say? Was he bedridden? Was he... He had to stay at home. Um, personal life. Mm. Career. The oven doesn't seem to be really mentioned in this article, but I think I saw it somewhere on Wikipedia. I've got oven. Oh, it's called an aga cooker. Yeah, obviously it's more 
Um, it's more general than oven, since there's also a stove. This tree. Oh, I see. Originally developed to burn coal. Alright, so that's even more of a of a nightmare. Um, lost his sight. Okay, forced to stay at home, Dalian discovered that his wife was exhausted by cooking. Also blind, she set out to develop a new stove that was capable of a range of culin culinary techniques and easy to use. Um, Nice. Adopting the principle of heat storage, you combine the heat source, two large hot plates, and two oven into one unit. Oh, I guess this one has four ovens. This is the king size version. The cooker was introduced to the United Kingdom in 1929. Its popularity led to the coining of the term Aga Saga, <laughs> referring to a genre of fiction set amongst stereotypical upper middle class society. Huh. David Ogilvy. Who is David Ogilvy? This guy was hired as a salesman. Um, British advertising tycoon. Okay, I don't know this. Ogilvy, I think that's the name of a character in uh, 1984. That's all I know. That's all I remember. Um, okay, energy use. The smallest traditional two oven gas aga providing simple cooking function blah 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 consumes 38 times <laughs> as much as a standard gas oven. Almost as much gas in a week as a standard gas oven and hub. What's a hub? In nine months. Wow. Okay, I don't feel bad for saying that it's an environmentalist nightmare. Um, the latest model, blah blah blah, designed to be switched off. Okay, alright. I'm getting sidetracked. I was looking at uh, Dalian's story and how he had to stay at home. Okay. Um, all right, I don't know if I want to f phrase it quite so neutrally, or if I want to be a bit more snarky than this. Forced to stay at home, Dalin discovered that his wife was exhausted by cooking. Um, yeah, this is... Mm, how do I want to phrase this? I feel like I want to spend some more time thinking about how I want to phrase this. So maybe I will keep this for later. And I'll draw some lines instead. Isn't this what this stream is all about? Drawing lines. Um, yeah, I think I want to draw a frame for this panel. Here. Even though I messed up my text, so I'll have to fix that on the computer slightly going over the the right limit but that's okay I may not even fix it just to make things look more handmade because after all they are handmade not look too polished and perfect and a bit sterile at least in my opinion ok 
Okay. Now, do I want to draw a frame around the oven or not? <coughs> um, maybe a round frame. Oh, and I didn't finish writing the um, the legend for the plates either. Where was my legend? Mm -hmm. There we go. Um, simmering. Wait, no, warming plate. This one is a warming plate. Hundred and twenty degrees. And this is a boiling plate. Seven hundred degrees. Wow, that's high. Mm -hmm. And this is a simmering plate. Three hundred and fifty degrees. <laughs> okay, I feel like I want a legend for this central compartment here. What do you call this? Furnace? Um, would that be the same name for something that works with coal and something that works with gas? Maybe since this is still being sold, maybe there's um, some more descriptive images. Mm. Oh, now we can get a, what? Is that another? Looks like the center one. I think I see a chicken in here or a turkey. So maybe, maybe this is where the furnace is. And underneath is another compartment for actual cooking. Um, the legend I saw earlier didn't label that one. Unless I missed that. I did not miss it. There is no legend in here, so I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave it blank for now. Mm. 
Let's try Aga Cooker. Compartments. Cooks info. Aga stoves. Energy usage. Blah blah blah. Um, oh, as of 2010, you could purchase Aga stoves that run on electricity, oil, natural, or propane gas. You also get dual fuel versions. <laughs> How to make a nightmare even more of a nightmare for the environment. Okay, I'm just looking for which compartment does what. Okay, four oven model. That's what I have. Well, that's what I drew. Don't ever want to have one of those. Weekly power consumption. Oh, there's a biofuel. Um, okay, this isn't really labeled very well. How about the Wikipedia page? <coughs> Models. Oh, I see. There's a two, three, four, and five oven models. I see. With the five, with the four, and five. Um, wider than the others, okay. So maybe this is another oven, doesn't really say. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes you have to do research on half silly things so that you don't draw anything inaccurate. Aga uh, five oven. Cooker. Mm -hmm. This is going to be documented. Alright, this is getting me hungry. I see the food that's being cooked in those. Um, cast iron electric. Quick specs. Maybe if I include some of those temperatures as um, search terms. So there's 120, there is 700, 450. All right, let's try those as keywords. Aga cooked food tastes better simply because <laughs> Aga cooks better. Look. Marketing. Mm. Okay, never mind. I don't know. I will either leave it blank or research this later. And I'm going to erase some of my pencil in here. Hoping that it's dry by now. And I'm not going to make even more of a mess. <coughs> okay, I don't think I need any of this pencil now. So I did say I was going to draw a frame around it. So I did that after erasing most of it. Look at that, more exercise for me.
Okay, I'm gonna try not to make too much of a mess with my um, eraser shavings. Oh, and there's more here. Is that dry? This is dry now. Yeah, I guess it dried while I was considering all the the research for the cooker. I think real, real professionals they might. Um, Instead of drawing the pencil and the uh, ink on the same piece of paper, they may have uh, another one and uh, use a, a light, what do you call those, light table to work by transparency. You don't have any erasing to do. Um, okay, let's draw a frame for this, and then I think I will call it a day. I may come back later to do, to do some Twitter cartoons, but I'm not sure. I have a bunch to draw. I'm also wondering if I should post any of those um, this weekend. Because I have a bunch that I want to draw, and uh, there may not be enough days of the week. But then again, maybe I won't have enough time or energy to draw them. So I might have to choose the ones that I really want to draw more. We shall see. Okay, that's a frame. It's not very straight, but that's on purpose. It's like um, handmade. And I still need to think about the phrasing for for the uh, the part where he invents this oven or this cooker. <coughs> okay, I think I'm going to call it a day for this stream. Let me see if I can zoom out a bit. I can show the previous page as well. Mm -hmm. Sorry for the <laughs> movements. There we go. Okay. Um, well, not completely done yet, but nearly this one missing and uh, figuring out what this one is but apart from that I think we're uh, looking good <coughs> okay thanks uh, thank you everyone for tuning in and uh, watching me <laughs> say silly things and draw silly things as well um, oh wait, I have a, I have a goodbye image that I made a while ago. There we go. There it is. Cool. <coughs> um, maybe I'll say bye bye to the camera first before switching to the uh, other image. Bye everyone. Thanks for dropping by, and uh, I'll see you soon in another stream if I have more time to draw this weekend. All right, talk to you all very soon.